If you haven't signed up for my Patreon, you should definitely do so. I've redistributed some stuff and now there are four tiers. So please go check it out and uh, sign up so you can get some extra content and some early access to videos and help shape my channel and all that good stuff. <laughs> Welcome back to Ever Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Still Not Quite Human. Still Not Quite Human is a 1992 Magic World of Disney television release. It is the third film in the Not Quite Human film series. It is written and directed by Eric Luke. Cinematography by Ron Oreo. <laughs> Editing by David Berlatsky and the music is by John Debney. I have covered everybody except Ron Oreo. They will be listed and linked in the description. Ron Oreo is best known for Legends of the Fall, Deadly Nightmares, The First Circle, and do South. The film stars Jay Underwood, Alan Thicke, Adam Philipson, and Rosa Nevin. Jay Underwood plays Chip and Alan Thicke plays Dr. Jonas and Bonus. And I covered both of them in the video about Not Quite Human. The link will be in the description. Adam Philipson plays Kyle and he's best known for Candyman, The River Wild, Cain and Abel, and Spencer for Hire. Rosa Nevin plays Officer Kate and is best known for All My Children, They Came From Outer Space, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and Matlock. I feel like I could go on and on about these movies but I'm gonna try so hard to keep it short. Robin Lively does not reprise her role as Chip's sister. The film is about a man who wants to create an android army to sell to make money and then like whoever has the android army wins everything obviously can take over the fracking world or whatever and he wants Dr. Jonas's chip not like chip his son but like the chip that makes an android more lifelike and human like and can learn and like just pretty much start to feel emotions basically and that's pretty much like Dr. Jonas gets kidnapped, there's a whole thing. That's what it's about. The opening music and the music throughout kind of reminded me of the music from Halloween Town. Also the music in general was just so good. It was so fun. The film in general, like I just love these movies so much because they just are so fun. They're just, that's what they're here for. They're here to be downright fun. There are so many funny jokes. And now that I've like invested in the characters over the course of these movies, there's just like, I get it so much more. Jay Underwood is so good in this role. Like I know it's like almost like a nothing, like who cares about not quite human in this series and Chip Carson and like whatever. But Jay Underwood is so good at this role. I like people probably don't even realize it. Like in the first movie, he is so robotic because he doesn't know, like he is so oblivious to everything. And the second movie, he's still learning, but he's a little bit better. Like he definitely has feelings for his family, but he's learning more and more about pop culture. And then in this one, you can tell he's still an android and still a robot, but he's got so many human-like characteristics. Like he's embarrassed when he's with an android who is oblivious to everything. And it is so funny to see him in that scenario. And Jay Underwood just does it so perfectly i'm like first of all he's so cute <laughs> like i can't gender is so cute i'm so smitten with him in these movies but anyway regardless of that i think he does such a great job of the slow progression of how chip has grown and learned learned yeah and just become more human like over the course of these films and i'm actually kind of really sad that this is the last one the film was a little slow in the beginning but then it's just they're so fun they're just fun movies like they're just funny and a good time like you don't go in expecting like this beautiful fantastical message but you just laugh and have a good time and i love these movies so much and i'm really sad this was the last one two more tiny little things when chip is adjusting something on bonus's hard drive he goes into like a pop culture drive and it runs through all these pop culture references like john wayne and blah blah, blah. and then it does donald duck which i thought was hilarious because it's a Disney movie. It's great. And then the second thing was, I don't remember. Oh, I cheered when Dr. Jonas and Chip got reunited. Like I was like, yay, they're finally back together. Like Chip saved his dad. And then when Chip absolutely demolished this other Android, it was so good. I was like, yes, I was cheering. Like I was actually in my room 
cheering, okay? Like, I really tried to keep my rant short. I hope it was short. I hope it wasn't too long. You get my point. I love these movies. I think they are so genuinely fun. I love Jay Underwood as Chip. I think he carries these movies because he's just so good in the role of Chip Carson. And I'm really sad that this is the last one. With all that being said, I'm giving it eight killer androids out of 10. Our total movie count is... Parent Death Toll and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Please sign up for my Patreon or check out my Patreon or whatever. I added a new tier, like I said at the beginning. So please, please go check it out so you can get all that extra bonus content. I am so excited to be sharing all of that with you guys. Uh, until next time. Comment, subscribe, and I'm you are, so you do, and don't be Dr. Whatever the Face, the evil guy who wants to kill everybody. Yeah, don't be him about it. And I'm really sad. <laughs> like, I'm so attached. Like, I have to go back and watch all the Not Quite Human movies again now because I'm just like.